Hi guys, welcome back to another Norway video. Well, this really isn't a video, it's more pictures with me doing a voiceover of uh, the catches and the week we had in Norway. I had all intentions to film out there, but I'll be brutally honest with you, it was so hard work. Um, we were constantly spinning flat out all the time and just messing around with the camera. It was just wasted time, which I didn't want to do. Um, I'd probably say this was the most enjoyable trip I've been on in Norway. Um, watching my brother absolutely haul was, was great. He had loads of fish, which was nice to see. Um, I had a couple of nice fish, and Adam had some nice fish. So I won't carry on uh, blabbing, guys. I'll uh, roll the pictures, and I'll uh, let you know what we caught. Okay guys, so the first uh, couple of fish on the first day uh, were some cod and halibut. You can see on the left there my brother with a nice halibut and me with a cod. And we shortly roll into a video of me gaffing my brother's halibut. I tell you what, I don't miss a shot with the, uh, the gaff, let me tell you. Throughout the week I was a uh, main gaff man. <laughs> on to a few more cod uh, my brother had a nice cod and adam also had a nice cod on the spinning gear um we also tried for some dabs and place as you can see, Adam has a nice dab there. We also uh, had another run. Uh, I had a massive run from a halibut, as you can see in the picture on the right. And uh, unfortunately, it bust me off. It was a screaming run. And uh, I, what I'm assuming is there's a drop off on my main line, hit that drop off. And I just parted my line before I even felt the fish, unfortunately. Also throughout the day, we used uh, salvage gear seekers to catch some bait. We were mainly enough the cull fish to use as uh, bait, but unfortunately, these jumbo mackerel were an absolute pain in the ass. We had mackerel after mackerel, and they are on steroids. They're like little mini tuners, um, but great fun on the light spinning gear. And they, I tell you what, they don't half go. And um, yeah, we used them for for chum to get the coalies in. And to be fair, it worked quite well. The, very oily mackerel compared to the mackerel we get here in the UK. Right, so we're about to roll into day two. There's a short little clip of some pure chaos. I will let this roll and uh, you can see for yourself, it was mental. Right, you need to... It's a ling! Oh, wow. It's a rod, 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 rod. Ling 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 ling.
Shark, someone's going. Someone's fucking going, you. Hang on, oh, oh, oh. What's going on here? Luke, grab, unhook that thing and bring it up. Go tell him to bring it up. Because the calf, Roach. That's on the big defenders. It's a raw rod. Oh, oh, it's a halibut. It's a halibut, Luke. Do you mean it's a halibut? I've just seen it. That was down there. Yeah, big the service. We're going to have to come. We're going to have to do the same thing. I oh, should I go right? It's easy to go right. Oh, yeah. Go right, go right, go right. <laughs> Connor, you may be trapped for that thing. Uh, can you mind Corey's rod? Yeah. Go right, 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 That's, that, that's under the pier. Shaggy, you went in. Good job I put that in three wheel. Shaggy's on favours. And as you can see, that was pure chaos. But I tell you what, it is great memories. Climbing over onto our little platform, praying it would take my weight so I could land the uh, the link to the left-hand side. And that, that rod screaming off with uh, baited feathers. I tell you what, it was so lucky my brother had that in like a really loose uh, drag setting. Otherwise, that rod would be gone. That halibut absolutely screamed off. And it's a great double shot of uh, me and my brother, me with my nice little uh, lure court ling, and my brother with a halibut. Next up, we have Adam with a lovely lure court halibut. This halibut uh, was feeding on scraps that we were chucking over the side to draw in the coalies. Adam said he had seen a halibut follow his lure up, and he kept on persevering, casting out his lure, and uh, fair play to him, he, he hooked the halibut, and it gave him a cracking little scrap. Uh, we managed to land it nicely, and inside of the halibut's mouth was actually a skeleton of a mackerel we had just chucked over the side. We had filleted a mackerel, chucked the carcass in, and the halibut did have it in its mouth, which was uh, unbelievable to see. So we carried on fishing throughout the day. Fishing was pretty slow on bait, uh, but my brother did manage to pluck out uh, a nice dab, as you can see there on the left. Um, we, we all carried on spinning throughout the day. Uh, we had plenty of jumbo mackerel, as you can see uh, in this picture on the right here. Uh, this one took a 80 gram jig, which my brother was using. And I tell you what, they go, they go hell for leather, these mackerel, because they are absolutely huge. We're about to roll into a short little clip of my brother landing a nice cod for me. 
Uh, I was using my Sarasca Seeker on my 10 to 40 gram Century Graphics lure rod. And uh, I found these lures really, really good because they were outcasting every single lure and they were sinking down to the bottom very, very fast. I think we were fishing in about 25 baby. to 30 meters of water on this day. And uh, my lure just hit the bottom. And I, what I like to do is like a sink and draw method. And I was two pumps into my sink and draw and this cod absolutely screamed off. Uh, hit very hard. Just dug deep all the way in. Peeling line off every so often. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a great scrap. I also had uh, three more ling throughout the day. As you can see in this picture here on the right hand side. Uh, Savage Gear Seeker again. Doing the business. Absolutely great lure. Okay, so we move on to day three, which was a massive halibut hunt kind of day. Uh, we were told to fish a mark local to us uh, that holds some big halibut. And things were looking promising within the first 20 minutes, half hour of being there. I had another screaming run, and I mean it was screaming off. But again, my main line must have got caught on something, and it parted me off again. Some rotten luck on uh, this trip I had, but uh, that's fishing for you. Um, shortly after, well not shortly after, a good few hours after, my brother had a run which uh, produced a nice little halibut, as you can see here. Um, shortly after that, I had another run and it produced a small halibut for myself. We had coleys throughout the day on spinning gear. Um, we had a couple of codling as well. And that was it for that day. So on the evening of day three, I checked my app on my phone, which tells me if there was a, a chance of seeing the northern lights in the area. And it said there was a 100% chance. So me and the boys parked our bums outside for an hour or two, looking up at the sky. We had some nice trails, some nice green clouds come through. Uh, the boys then called it a night. I stayed outside for another hour, and the skies went absolutely ballistic, and it, it produced these pictures. It was absolutely unreal. A memory I will never ever forget, just being sat outside in Norway, staring up at the sky and it just lighting up like this was unbelievable. So day four was pretty much a blank for us. We had small coleys and codling, but nothing worth taking pictures of. So we move on to day five here and this is where the biggest fish of the trip was caught by my brother. He had a 46 pound halibut and it gave us a one one hell of a run around. Um, we, my brother managed to get it to the surface. Um, as I was about to gaff it, it shot under the jetty, and I thought, oh, no, we're going to lose this fish. So I, I was laying down on the floor, poking my head under the jetty, uh, instructing, on, uh, instructing my brother what to do, pump and lower his rod, etc. And we, we managed to get the fish out, and as soon as uh, a shot presented itself with a gaff, woof, I whipped it into him, and uh, we got it up, and it produced this lovely 46-pound halibut. So we all had a few more fish on day five, uh, including some nice cod, uh, fall into mainly lures, and I think one or two on some uh, lugwin baits. Uh, the boys also caught a scorpion fish. Uh, they're both pictured in this picture because I think my brother caught it, but on Adam's rod, so we didn't know who to, uh, who to give the tally to for the amount of species, so they both claimed that one. So day six, we returned to the mark where my brother had the big halibut. Uh, hopes were high again. But we were told it was going to be a halibut and nothing kind of mark. So we waited a good, good few hours into the session for my brother to have a run. Uh, this was a weird one, though. Um, the halibut must have struck the bait or something because it was actually hooked on the top of his head. Um, we all thought it was going to be a big fish because obviously it was kiting in the tide. It snagged my brother up once or twice. Um, so, yeah, it was, a, it was a weird one, that one. Um, but we landed it, and it was a nice little halibut. So day seven, we returned to the day one mark with high hopes, knowing that there's some nice fish there. Um, we had coleys, cod, and mackerel from the off on the spinning setup. Uh, Adam had the first one of the day, quite a nice slow... Slow pull down on the rod. Adam wound down, struck into it, but unfortunately the fish must have reefed him again and his main line parted. Um, 
My brother then went on to have a run and landed a, another small halibut. Um, Adam had a nice cod on the lures. And I had, yet again, another screaming run, absolutely screaming off. And I mean it was screaming off. Um, I wound down, struck into it, and I felt it there. I was fighting it for a good while, but it was clinging to the bottom all the way in. And unfortunately, my main line parted again. I don't know what was going on, but uh, stinking luck again. But that's fishing for you. I will be back one day, and I'll have that halibut again. But yeah, that's... Uh, the end of the trip for us um there's a couple of pictures here now of us in the van in the wagon the van was a bit eventful making some noises you know they don't call it rent a wreck for for no reason um on the way back to the airport i stopped in the middle of the road because i was panicking about my passport i opened the side door and the door fell off so uh yeah that was eventful but yeah all in all guys it was an absolutely fantastic trip Cannot wait to get back out there. Don't know when it will be, but I will be back. Cheers for watching, guys.